G'day and welcome back to Creators. Challenge 2 is now finished and it's time to give some feedback and award points from myself, Matt from Total MTG, and Gem from Gem of Magic. Hey guys, I'm Gem from Gem of Magic and I'm here reporting for Judge Duty. I feel that across the board everyone did very well in these videos. I, what I've noticed from Challenge 1 to Challenge 2 is that all of the creators have greatly improved their videos and that's quite exciting to see. So I think you should all be quite proud of yourselves. Hey guys, Matt from TotalMTG here and the round two videos of Creators are out. So let me cast my eye room and give my thoughts and then my points for the videos. Well done to everyone. They produce absolutely great videos again. Now, quick recap on the challenge. The teams were all asked to create an art themed top 10 list with specific topics. Check out the challenge video in the description to see this in full if you're not 100% on this. Remember, this one's an elimination round. So the team with the lowest score will be eliminated from the competition once all the scoring is done. Let's start with Team Oxhead. The guys at Oxhead were given the top 10 most beautiful card arts. Now this is a very broad topic and I was really impressed that they were able to narrow it down. They chose the most beautiful weapons in Magic. My only letdown here is I did have a maximum time frame for this video of 10 minutes on the top 10 list. And doing my math and taking away the intro and the outro, it did run to about 10 minutes and 30 seconds. So for going to nitpick, didn't quite hit the challenge on the time frame. Orcs Head Magic. I really liked your intro. The inclusion of Throg was really good. I found that quite funny. Needs a little bit of work in that his voice was a little bit quiet, but very, very good. One criticism I have is that I found the voiceover for the numbers a little bit jarring. Using a child's voice didn't seem to really fit the rest of the video very well. You did occasionally stray from the concept at times, but overall you did a very good job here. Well done. Oxhead. The only bad thing for me, mate, was the audio. The It was such a difference in the balance from when you were talking at the start to when you brought the other guys in. That is what I really liked about the video as well, that you brought the other guys in, had a little conversation, you know, gave very good info about the cards. Um, the time check has told me you went like 30 seconds over, but I still think you hit the concept of the actual, you know, what the cards were about and everything like that. Moving on to Jake and Joel. Weird and hilarious. Really happy to see you guys took a bit of feedback from last week, kept the video well paced, kept it within the time frame. Really like the way you framed the cards in your recording, having the full card then scaling it down so it was just you guys as you like to have with the card in the middle the card's not cutting anyone's face it doesn't look awkward it fits in between you guys and you could see what was happening i could see the artwork as you guys were talking about it and it it fit really well if i'm to be completely honest i don't see any major negatives with this video i think this is a, a really well done video you hit the theme and you guys had a lot of fun with it and uh, i think everyone who watched had a lot of fun with it as well Thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the great video, guys. Jake and Dollar Magic, you kept your concept very well. Your card choices were great, and I was laughing throughout most of the video. The one criticism I would have is that the transitions were a little bit clunky. I think something about having the card show up and then black and then the card again, uh, something about that was a little bit jarring to me. So you might want to perhaps either just have the number or the name of the card before showing the art. I think maybe not showing the art might be better. All in all, I thought your video was very good. I thought you really emphasised the weirdness with your you know, general sense of humour. So well done with that one. Very good banter as always, guys. I love the scripts that you put together. Uh, for me, the only thing that was wrong was just the flow of the music and the transitions didn't quite match for me. But I thought you hit the concept well and I thought it was a very, very nice video. Moving on to Charles from MTG and Me. Again, Charles has found himself in a creepy theme um, and he has knocked it out of the park. Again, looking at the feedback that was given last week, the one thing I picked out is that there was no background music and he has found the perfect background music to match the theme of this video and to give me nightmares. Thank you very much. Um, in terms of the way the video is created, this is probably my favorite transition from card to art, just the way that it switches out as you talk. The viewer gets to see the, again, gets to see the card, gets to see this artwork in full, gets to wet themselves and again, fantastic video. If I have to nitpick, there is one tiny stumble in your editing where 
it honestly sounds like when you were recording it, you took a pause to cut the stumble out, but you left it in there. It's, and it's during this artwork here when you, when you watch it back. That's my one nitpick of this video. MTG and me did the top 10 scariest artworks and perhaps they did it a little too well because the video actually kind of scared me. It was really creepy. Uh, very, very well done. The one criticism I have is that perhaps the pace of speaking was a little bit too slow. While speaking slowly did fit the theme of horror and the tone of voice and everything used really did match that, I feel that speaking slowly might disengage some viewers. One thing I want to highlight that was very well done was the use of music. So MTG and me used music to create that kind of atmospheric effect of fear and they did that very, very well indeed. So good job. That horror theme was absolutely brilliant and it suited you perfectly. It was great transitioning, great editing for me. The uh, music in the background was really good, made it scary with a the theme and everything like that. The only thing I would say about it was my little critique was just your audio could have just been a tad higher, but I do think you hit it absolutely perfectly. The nail on the head, as they say, and well done. And finally, MTG Canuck. Now I have to say, in terms of going from video one to video two, MTG Canuck has definitely taken on the feedback the best and has the most improvement. I uh, can see he's fully updated his setup. He's got a green screen, hawk thought into what's happening with the video. And I really appreciate that. And I'm really happy we're taking a step in the right direction. I really love this introduction. The quirky little talking to myself while looking out at a green screen. It works, I really like it. What I'm probably disappointed is that doesn't stick the whole way through. While I love that we get to see the card in its fullness and we've got these awesome little effects keeping it interesting, keeping it moving, I, I honestly would have loved to see the card art blown up behind you on that green screen. Other than that, I love your transitions. You kept them simple, you kept them straightforward and they are there for a reason. I also love the fact that you're using a script. It gives it a bit more of a professional feel. The only downside though is it's very obvious you're reading from the script, possibly cue cards, possibly maybe a different way that we could have framed that up to make it not look like so you're looking down and talking your thing. Overall, as I said, very happy with the improvement you've made and I th think this will lead your videos to be up and up in the future. MTG Canuck, I liked your intro to the video, I thought that was very well done. My main criticism is that the audio needs a little bit of work. Uh, in terms of quality and also the background music was a little bit louder than was ideal at some places throughout the video. That being said though, you stuck to the theme very very well and your discussion about the art was really really good and very insightful. Well done. Man, I absolutely loved your intro. It was absolutely brilliant, dude. thought you hit the concept really well. I do like some of the arts that you pulled in there as well for your lands. They were really good. The volume on your audio was a bit low compared to the music, that was one of my things. And maybe some of the actual editing of the arts for me were a little bit wonky and stuff like that. But I really did enjoy your video and I thought you hit the concept well. And now it comes to awarding my 30 points. I've gone back and forth on these points as this challenge is a lot harder than the first one to pick a clear winner in any of the categories. But here we go. For my concept points, I'm going to be giving it to Charles from MTG and Me. He was given the scary top 10 list and not only is the list scary, the video scary, everything's mashed together. He hit the time challenge, he had the transitions and just all together, I personally think it, it made the best video. Now the recording points is where I had my most difficulty making a decision. It can honestly go one of any of four ways. In the end I decided to go with Team Orcshead. My thoughts here are that they had a nice combination of both a live funny video at the start and then the switch to the card view as we go through. I also really liked the use of the additional team members which is one of the resources that they have, making it a bit different to their normal videos. And finally the thing that really pushed over for me is the, is the recording of the that cute little voice for the transitions which just gave it that one little step extra and pushed it to the point of getting my recording points. Finally, when it comes to my editing points, I'm going to be giving these to Jake and Joel. Now, while all the videos were edited really well, the other three videos each had at least one little stumble, cough, or hiccup that could have been edited out in the interest of making it neat. Um, where Jake and Joel had good cuts, they had well-paced video, and it just went really well. 
now it's time for me to give my points. Now don't forget guys, this is just a bit of fun, so don't take anything too personally if you don't get any points off me this week. But this week, I love Jake and Joel's video, that was really good. I love the audio in it, the scripting as always, and they're such fun videos to watch. Ork said, John, yes, the audio was, was not quite right for me, but I like the concept that he had there and bringing the other guys in as well. MTG Canuck, absolutely loved your intro there with you with the islands there and coming in. That was absolutely amazing. There's a lot of potential there for you, mate. Um, but for this week, and I've never done this, this is only the second week, I know, but MTG and me is going to get all 30 points for me this week. I found it very hard picking fault in your video, apart from slightly, slightly the little audio. But other than that, you hit the concept, you hit everything for me there, your engine skills, the transitions of it all going through, how the cars were coming from the background. I absolutely loved it. Now it's time for me to award my points. Jake and Joel get my 10 points for concept because I feel they chose their cards very well and they also highlighted the concept of weirdness. MTG and me gets my 10 points for recording because I felt their quality was very good. MTG and me also gets my 10 points for editing because of their use of music and also I just felt their editing was really, really good. And finally, we need to add the 10 bonus viewer points. When we check out the results, we can see that Jake and Joel received the bulk of the viewer vote, giving us these final results. So it looks like MTG and me have managed to take out this challenge again, and unfortunately, MTG Canuck has the lowest score and has been eliminated from the competition. This is a shame, as MTG Canuck has definitely made some positive moves forward, and I'm sure we're going to see some great videos from him. We'll definitely be inviting MTG Canuck back for the next series if he's interested. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts and comments. Please don't forget to follow at Creators for regular updates and giveaways with our remaining three competitors.